Also, let me know about like the volume of this music. I'm just setting stuff up right now, so yeah. Sorry, I'm having issues with like the restreaming application, so I have to deal with that. Oh my god, how do I do this? Okay. Hmm. No, okay, this is an issue. It's only connecting to like two channels. Um, help? <laughs> All right, great. All right, yeah, it's only showing me YouTube and Twitch. I'm not ecstatic about this. Um, can you please? Next. Is it? Oh my god, so much stuff. Uh. No, 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 absolutely not. Um. Oh, this is like the wrong thing too. Yeah, sorry about that. First, yeah, what's going on with that? Hey, hey everyone. Um, yeah, I can. Where's Kyle? <laughs> oh, I guess that will happen. Okay. Um, I'm gonna see if I please. Work. Alright, here I am. What up? Alright, it seems to be working though, so that's fine. That's good. Um, yeah, that's, that's fine. It's just not loading all the Facebook chat messages, so what I'm gonna do is I guess I'm gonna have to momentarily um, uh, check my chat. I, and I don't even understand how the Facebook chat works it's kind of weird because it displays it as comments but also not really I'm like I don't know um it's like uh, if no 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 all right great I don't want chat. I, and I don't even understand how the Facebook chat works it's kind of weird because it displays it as comments but also go not. away stop doing that <laughs> okay great no volume sorry about that all right i can actually see the facebook chat now amazing um let's see it seems to be fine i can't actually really the that's tiny all right okay great um, okay, I'm gonna set this up in this way, so if people want to talk to me, they can, and I can respond, which I was really bad at last time. Um, actually, let me 
social media, this, whatever. <sighs> have to promote this, you know. Um, this is very professional. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, Vixologic Twitch. Is that how you spell Twitch? Twitch channel. How do you spell that word? Alright, I'm spelling it correctly. Um done. Wow, I'm doing a really good job so far. <laughs> All right, people. So before I actually start this, I kind of want to know what people would be more interested in seeing, which is I can either finish this beautiful composition, which is kind of what I want to do, because I don't like having just like stacks and stacks and stacks of unfinished projects, which is where I think my... Hey, let me adjust the lighting. There we go. Which is what I think my life consists a lot of, and I want to like remove it as much as I can, right? And so I'm gonna see if I can finish it in the stream, and then do like a realistic version in the next stream. Um, yeah, party time. Um, also, if anybody has any questions at any point, let me know. I'm gonna actually look at. Uh, what people are saying. Um, hello, everybody. What up? I'm gonna be so bad at checking the chat. Oops. Actually, let me scale it up a little bit because this is gonna be... Alright, that's better. Baby Mary Poppins. I mean, okay, uh, I guess you learn something new every day on this wondrous, uh, internet plane. Okay, so, um, let's see. Right now, the profile- okay, you know what? I actually really don't like how this looks, um, but I'm not gonna mess around with that right now, so let's put on dynamic. Um... I'm just going to briefly, okay, so what can I do? I can make the hand, that would be great, right? Um, and then doing her hair, like, let's start out with broader strokes to begin with, just because otherwise I'll end up noodling around for 50 years and nobody wants that. It's uh, not a good time. Um, also, let's adjust her scalp because it's kind of weird right now. Like, let me... Yeah, I know. Oh man, so how is everybody doing? How is everybody's like Halloween weekend ish? Oh my god, it's doing the wrong thing. Um, I also found a better playlist on Spotify to play that's kind of just chill even though i personally don't really listen to chill music it's good for the stream um what's going on streamception uh okay is everything going all right let's check use fiber mesh for the hair i would never do that it's horrible uh no 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 i i would love to actually do that i <laughs> I'm just not very good at fiber mesh, and every now and then I see somebody who's like really good at it, and it makes it in a way motivates me to want to learn it. But I just feel like I have to talk to that person specifically and be like, okay, so how? <laughs> what do I listen to? So currently, I'm actually on. Um, going through like a french cold wave like 80s cold wave phase which is a good time it's great um but yeah so currently i'm like all about cold wave dark wave i mean i've, I've been listening to post-punk for a while now um 
and obviously there's like a crossover slash the spectrum of just like it goes from like post fun to like new wave and synth pop and so um actually i started listening to soft cell a lot recently which they have they're like super hit or miss it's like they're the music is like the song's either really good or it's like kind of underwhelming and people only really know that one song tainted love which i'm like that one's kind of in between for me like it's a good song but i'm not like blown away by it but torch uh, so there's an extended version of Torch with some chick, Cindy Ecstasy. Actually, I'm pretty sure I was talking about this on my stream last week. Um, am I surprised? No. But uh, yeah, that's a good song. Alright. So I also still have to figure out what on earth these things are. Because who knows? Um, what up? Oh my god, your Halloween costume, Vamal, was interesting. <laughs> also, okay, let me... Uh, that was a horrible photo. I'm, like, so bad at... Alright, let's delete that. Sorry, I'm just not feeling whatever it is that I just did, so let's do that. Also, I need to start using Twitter more. Yeah. And all right, no, that's a horrible. One. Is there a way I can like? Hello, how do we see the channel on this? Yeah. All right. Come hang out at. At twitch dot tv pixel logic i can't wait to hit like 10,000 followers on instagram so i can just do like the swipey thing because people it's like you have to type a link and i don't know what and it's like it's just so inconvenient um so i can't wait to get to that point in life um, where I can just make things happen fairly easily and conveniently. Yeah. Alright. I can't... Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, back to business. Wow, I've been streaming for 13 minutes. It feels like I've been doing this for, like, way longer. My perception of time today is not, um... And it's prime. <laughs> All right, let me stop. I'm like so scatterbrained today. It's not. It's not great, but it's fine. I'm just gonna have to kind of power through this. But you, people will have to bear with me because I'm just not in the most like focused. Me explaining why I'm doing what I'm doing and elaborating on my life and design outlook and whatnot. Um, I'm just rambling. What is this song? That's so weird. Thanks. Alright, I'm back. Alright. I made a crazy spaceship in ZBrush using Zmodeler and Mirror Symmetry with Project Primitives. Okay, cool. <laughs> How was that? Um, let me put up OBS and not missing and stuff. Mm, oh no, my streaming thing is in 1K. I mean, my chat, chat app, it's not. <sighs> or people just aren't writing to me. Um. What is, I can't understand. Okay, so Facebook, is the chat on Facebook working? No, it doesn't seem to be. Also my internet connections, like not having a great time. Oh yeah, actually I'm gonna close this app, but I wanted to show people this thing, that a project I'm trying to revive. 
So I need to redo a bunch of stuff on this. Um, okay, the vignette is a little too hardcore. Um, so I made this, I think, like a year ago or something. And um, I really like the dress, but the proportions. On it. So I made this when I was a student, right? And now I'm like, eh, the proportions are kind of messed up. Like, she doesn't really look like a person. And then I also don't like this thing. I want to make, like, an actual hair do. So people know that I know how to do hair card stuff. Um, but I'm, like, really digging this, right? Um... But so another thing is I actually remember rebaking this over here because it looks flat. It doesn't actually look like it has much normal information going on. So I had to go into ZBrush and like amplify the folds. And I don't know where on earth I baked that normal map up to because I was like, um, I would have horrible organization when I was at school. Well, it wasn't that bad, but it's like, I have like two folders and one of them is like things from school and then it's like like stuff that like the drive that I would work off at Nomen and then I would have another one that's like at home and then I have like a third one that was just like my flash drive or something or like have backups and so I'm gonna have to I don't feel like I mean I might dig for it but it's like same thing with the lace I have to really adjust how this is flowing because it's just like way too straight that makes sense uh, do i have that on double sided yeah that looks fine and then i don't know how i feel about this i'm not feeling this either so i'm gonna have to adjust this to be um cooler i guess um let's see what's happening oh my god now okay let's put this here uh thank you could you try amping the normal detail versus Photoshop? Actually, yeah. Um, oh, you know what? That's probably what I did, actually. No, because I remember re-sculpting the folds. I was like, there's like no information on here that's like useful. Because <laughs> it's like over here, right? So also like, what is that? <laughs> but um, let's see. And it's like, I think I'm going to end up rebaking this whole thing, like reorganizing the UVs because like the the UVs for like this, all of these. So I organized them. Let's look at that. Right. So it's like I actually took a uh, um, very like environment art approach to it, where it's like a lot of what you see with this is just like it's tiling. So I don't have to take up like a billion amount of like space trying to occupy all these like thin long pieces if I could just tile them um and then I think I did the same thing wait am I missing the normals from no I'm not okay so uh let's make the lighting a little brighter no not that one this one ugh all right that backfired um, let's reduce that. All right, so just to explain what I was talking about, there's a little bit of clipping here and there too. But, um, so, right, these are all, it's just kind of like one strip. And then what I did was I, I just um, essentially baked the normals to one and then made sure that the UVs overlap for like all of them so that I don't, cause it's like, you don't really need individual normal information for all of these different things. Um, and then with this, okay. So yeah, this, I was like, great. Um, fun fact, right? So it's like head separate from the body because I wanted to give her like a 4K texture on the face. Um, I'm not. I mean, I'm not even talking about like my actual stuff. I just wanted to show people this. Like, it's 
it's it's a pro it's a work in progress it'll get there let me turn on the light but yeah so i'm gonna close that um all right what's going on hey donna hi chat okay hi <laughs> I wrap her lower face with the cloth. No, so I'm taking all that bia like the cloth BS. Oh wait, I'm just gonna make her like a more personable person or whatever. Alright, let's get to work. Um I hate it when I get like weird talking in this music. Also, if the music's at a good volume, let me know if it's not. Because a lot of times I end up turning the music like way down and then there's like nothing. And in moments when I don't talk, it's just weird. Um, she looks like that singer. Yes, it's based on FK Twigs, who's great. Everybody should listen to her. <laughs> Um, alright. That was actually one of my, uh, first more successful likeness sculpts. Alright, let's get to it. Okay. Wow, this is so chill and makes me, it's like a juxtaposition with my personality. Because I am not, I don't think. Alright. Alright, so let's see what's, um, I could work on her hand. Actually, I'm going to make the eyelashes. Um, I'm also going to edit the toy plastic material because it's a little bit too dark compared to her skin matte cap. So let's modify that. All right, perfect. And then go back to my skin material, which I downloaded twice, apparently. All right. Um, let's see. So I think I'm too lazy to start the hand from scratch, so I'm just going to open up this lady. Okay, great. So I'm wait. I I'm like I don't have the time to make hands from scratch. So it's like if if there's some there, I'll I'll take them. What? All right. Um. Hey, hello everybody. Also, I'm like so low energy today though. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Um, what's happening on Facebook? Not much. <laughs> uh, how long did it take me to create her? Um, so the FK Twix one, I did it over the course of like, uh, so I did it for the, the uh, words character creation for games class at Nomen, and then i kept kind of working on it for a few more weeks like on and off while i was also in school right so um i don't really know to be fair. like i i don't know if i can give you a good estimate also let me put in my ui because i can do that Yes, thank you. Ugh, is it, so this thing has layers and I would like them to go away. Make all. Ugh, can you stop doing... Thank you. Alright. Delete higher. Delete hidden and boom, hand. Um, what's up? How are you? I am great, uh, actually, I think. I'd like to think so. I made some lavender syrup so I can drink my milk with, I don't know, taste of sweet lavender. <laughs> Which is really great, because, I don't know, like, 
initially when you consume lavender products they kind of take like the initial reaction is like hmm this reminds me of soap but I don't know I think it's so good um also my streams always like divert in like weird directions of food that I care about so if you're new and you like hearing my food stories uh welcome also why is this not doing what I wanted to do all right oh because it's not all right oh yes thank you okay so we only need one hand and let's do that um my 3d printer is supposed to arrive tomorrow which is pretty great okay so her hand is actually like really huge in this concept i just realized that um i can't speak russian jeff uh also let me check if everything's going all right perfect size hand yes right it's great <laughs> Also, okay, so today I actually have, like, um, only, like, half the amount of, uh, watchers that I usually do. Watchers, viewers. Um, which I'm like, okay, did everybody just, like, party really hard yesterday? <laughs> or am I, is it me? You know? <laughs> Um, but yeah, what's actually... Okay, so, uh, sad news about my Halloween costume. So I wanted to be Virka Sartuchka. Didn't work out, because I... So I ended up... I have all these, like, little disco balls, um, that I bought, and... They weren't rectangular. They were like, sorry, they weren't square, but they were rectangular. And that, like, it was really difficult for me to try and make the hat happen. And I also realized that it, it was just a lot of things that did not work out together. So I ended up just being, what was it? It was like a vague Virgin Mary-esque, like, whatever, you know, the, the Met Gala, whatever that is. It was like semi bride, semi something, and I had like golden tears. It was great. But I'm like, that's just me. I feel like it's just a manifestation of myself, but for Halloween. <laughs> Alright. Um, so what is that doing? It's like So whenever I'm doing things with hands, always like using your you have beautiful nails, by the way. But um I mean, you, good reference is all with posing is like doing, like using your hands, right? Um, it's because you can't see the Pixelogic title belt. Um, it's like lying on a box over there. Oops. <laughs> I take. I I try. <laughs> Um, alright, what's going on? Mmm, alright. Sweet. Um, okay. I'm so distracted today, I'm sorry about that. Um, it's not in a box, it's on top of a box. This weekend was kind of crazy because both me and my roommate were making our costumes. God. That was, I'm so glad that's over. Oh, it's not fully over. I still have, like, one more costume I need to make. Um, Jesus Christ. And so it's, like, there's just boxes everywhere all over the apartment. Because there's, like, supplies and everything different. And then I also have, I've been reorganizing my apartment because I just have way too much stuff. And I have all these boxes with, like, clay and, like, uh 
sculpting related materials and then I have all these different boxes with like fabrics and things even though I don't really know how to sew which is stupid I should probably learn how to do that um uh for Halloween I should be pixelogic <laughs> see that's what I should be um that's what I should have done but I like that belt is 15 pounds it's way too much I'm not okay so finger let's like pose that actually so I don't have to deal with it mm. Hands are hard, honestly. It's like one of, I love sculpting. I love sculpting hands and physical clay. But God, like getting the gesture right for hands, I think is one of the most, um, one of the more difficult things. But it's like hands are hard, but feet, God, feet are so weird too. It's just like, you're lucky if people just don't see them, like your character's wearing shoes. And doesn't end up mattering. Alright, let's solo that up. Um, I actually think I'm gonna end up... God damn it. Okay. Alright, let's follow that. Um, woo, beautiful. And then... God, I'm so distracted today. I'm not happy about that, but whatever. So I'm gonna end up polygrouping all of these so I have like pretty good, um, I'd go forward. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna end up like vaguely polygrouping all of these so I have an easier time dealing with the fingers later. No. You know, I'm just gonna make them really skinny because that's gonna make things easier for me. Alright. What's mm, going on in the chat? Uh, word up, homie. Yeah! <laughs> um, fuck, I kind of missed a little thing over there. Sorry about swearing. It's hard not to. It's hard not to when you're so opinionated and bothered by everything that happens in life. Um. Hello, what's up? How is everybody? I'm like... <laughs> trying to make chat more entertaining for people because right now I'm, I'm what I'm sculpting what I'm doing this is like not technical you're probably not gonna get like too much knowledge out of this but you're also not paying me so it's fine you know I don't care too much at that point um but uh let's do that yep nope um also i watched i partially watched um friday the 13th but like the third part that movie has some like really weird things going on in it it's very <laughs> like let's discuss <laughs> um there's like just out of nowhere these two twins show up and they keep wearing the same clothing it's just like nobody does that unless they have issues which i think they have some issues um god i need to finish watching that movie because i'm like nope there's just it's like man i don't even know mm. And somebody told me that, like, Jason's mom is in the movie, and I'm like, oh, well, is he the little kid? But then it's like, no, because then he also, like, actual J Jason shows up at some point. 
and I'm like, this is very confusing. I don't know what's happening. Uh, I'm just here for the Donna show. <laughs> Dude, I'm glad because I don't think I can really provide much else other than that right now. Like my brain is not um, in a instructor mode, if that makes sense. It's not running at its optimal levels. I need to eat breakfast first. I haven't, I don't think I've eaten. I had some cookies, but that's not substantial food. Um, we're not even gonna see this. So I don't know why I'm like trying so hard to make it happen. You're not gonna see most of this. Why am I? Yeah, see, this is why brain. Brain needs some food over here. Um, Alright, let's not look at this in this subdivision model. And let's get to sculpting it. So what I did one time on my on my personal channel stream or whatever is um I what did I do? Oh yeah, I uh decided to sculpt like an Egon Sheila thing. I love Egon Sheila, he's one of my favorite artists. This music is too loud. Um, so I ended up, and I thought I would have like a really hard time sculpting the hands, but turns out that that's not true. Actually, I had a really good time sculpting the hands. I sculpted them in like 20 minutes or something. Um, yes, actually, hold up, boom, party time. <laughs> I'm horrible. No, this is bad. Um, I actually really don't. I'm not a big fan of like Halloween candy. Because, like, okay, so and let me explain something to you about like chocolate in America. Is um, so in America, the standard for chocolate is way lower than in Europe. Oh my god, this hand is killing me. Please ignore it. This is bad. Okay, let's. I'm gonna hide all of that so I don't have to think about it. No. And I just focus on the fingers because I'm wasting so much time. Um, right now, stop. Okay, lasso that. Thanks. Um, no, that's, okay, so cookies and milk, bad breakfast. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually really so it's um okay I was gonna start talking about like chocolate Europe and the US so actually the quality of chocolate in Europe is much higher and better than it is in America because of the dairy something about the dairy you know what I need to research more on like the technical terms for this before I start talking about it but it's just like the milk chocolate in America isn't really milk chocolate, but then also like the sweeteners that they use are different. So you end up uh, eating things that are just really not, like chocolate's not that good for you to begin with if it's unless it's like dark chocolate, right? Um, but it's like if you're eating chocolate in America, it's like what are you doing? This is like Hershey's tastes so bad honestly um but it's like you know in a way i don't mind because sugar is bad for you anyways so i'm like eh, it's okay you know it's good that it's bad because then i won't be spending my money on it <laughs> um <laughs> yeah i mean also like so I don't know who thought that cereal was like a good idea for breakfast, but it's just like it's so f not great for you. <laughs> it's like if you're eating like cornflakes, it's fine, right? Cause, or like oatmeal. I don't like oatmeal, but again, it's good for you. Um... I've started caring so much about what I eat because when I first moved here, I, 
didn't and I started noticing like and I'm too young to be having like effects of that on my health but I started noticing like things with my sleep that were not okay and so like carbs knock me out like I can't eat um something starchy or something sweet without it just tossing me into a coma um so I actually try to eat as low carb as possible. This is the most interesting conversation. Like, wow, come to my art stream. Listen to me talk about carbs. <laughs> I'm the worst. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So I'm actually, let's see if I can try and talk about what I'm actually doing over here. I'm um, trying to build up the fingers. Actually, let me turn on back face masking so I don't end up like pulling things because it's like, let me show you some stuff to people. So if I go over here and I do that, right, see, it starts deforming things from the other side because the brush radius, it affects everything that's within its range. But if I put on back face masking and I do this, it doesn't do that. It like masks the back face. So... If you didn't know you could do that, now you do. These are the ugliest hands I've made in my entire life. Good job. You know, it's like when you're streaming and people are watching you, it's extra pressure. And I feel like that pressure is just not getting to me at all. Otherwise, I feel like I would be performing a little better. <laughs> Currently, I'm like, mm, I guess I don't really care right now. Um, I have other things to worry about, and it's like, like, what? It's many things. Um, God, this is, what, it, what is wrong with me? This is not a good thing. Okay, let's actually try and structurally approach this, because this is, like, horrible. Um, like, I am upset at myself. Um, alright, so let's actually, I'm gonna do something that I think might help me out which is I'm gonna add some fingernails which by the way I totally made a fingernail brush um in collaboration with like the XMD brushes so if you want some cool let me find it though I need to load it in um I yeah it should be in here where are my nails Hmm. Interesting. Alright, I got some cool nails. So there's like a... Yeah, I get it. Fine. Um, also, I'm really sassy towards my technology, if you have not noticed. Alright, let's... Oh my god, this looks so bad. Please stop looking at it. Um, Alright, I got a sexy, like... Uh, zombie nail which I'm not gonna use um then I, I made like this like weird claw thing <laughs> and then the actual nails I'm gonna be using are these um there we go so let's lengthen that um So that, this might actually, it's, it's the same thing with like eyeballs. It's sometimes you want to add certain elements to your sculpt in order to ground them. And so I'm gonna um, just go ahead and put this nail everywhere. Um, also part of me feels like I should start being more experimental with my art. It's gonna be great if I do. Cause I'm like, what if I made like a nail monster thing? Um, I also really want to get more into sculpting creatures. Uh, yeah. Okay, so if anyone's wondering how I'm like copying this, I just hold down control, right? So it's like gizmo over here. You, you hold down control and you just move. And boom, it duplicates it. Um, let's make that slightly smaller. And then, yeah. And turn it a 
a little bit boom there we go so this kind of helps also it's just like it really helps me see everything that's wrong with what I'm doing <laughs> okay let's auto group that and I, yes thank you delete hidden and there it is different sub tool I can turn that off um I'm gonna end up actually, you know what, I'm gonna merge the two, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think that's a good idea, alright. Okay, merge down, alright. So this way I can um, constantly like go back and forth oh, between stuff. Um, let me see something now. Alright, so... What is that? No, don't. Eh? All right, good. Um. Okay, I did not think about that beforehand, so let's get rid of these. I'm gonna do this, and now I can like easily mask it whenever I want to, right? So let's. Um, start looking at this. It's, it, it's like the moment you have one thing that looks correct, it helps you make everything else. Uh, it really like helps illustrate everything else that's wrong with your piece. So it's my, it's good to sometimes like, uh, you know, obviously you want to start out with broad strokes, but every now and then like focus on a little part and then that little part will help show you everything else that's wrong with your sculpt but also it, it because it's at a higher level of quality than everything else that you're doing it makes you want to uh make the rest of your work look better right it, it, it sets a bar and so that way in a way like your brain is forced to do a better job than before because it's like if you keep just kind of noodling around you don't like your brain isn't act. Uh, your brain doesn't actively have a goal to strive towards, um, which is why um, it's weird. Why does it do that? There we go. Um, actually, I think wow, the rotation of that is weird. But we're gonna ignore that for right now. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's a pun. Um, all right, let's see what's happening in the other chat things. You're very good. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, also, let's see. Uh, let me close, make this somewhat. Yeah, that's good. Um, <laughs> Oh god, that's <laughs> sorry. I'm laughing because my roommate uh, in the chat is like, Donna, are you trying to explain health things? Uh, yeah, sorry, Maya, I can't live up to your standards of whatever it is that we talked about the other day. Something about histamine? I don't know, I don't know words. Alright, ads, please be less loud. Alright, perfect. Um, this is awesome. Thank you for not being turned off by this ugly hand. <laughs> um, everybody's like really sad about all these like chocolate related things I've been talking about. Also like, okay, so my mind and my memory works in concepts, so it's always very difficult for me to elaborate to people why certain things are bad or not, because um, I'm like, I don't know the technical terms for this. It's like the other day I was in an Uber and I hear, um, 
So Verizon made an ad about how they're just really good at providing internet service to firefighters and like public health related, public safety related stuff. And I'm like, isn't that kind of ironic? Because didn't they like throttle some California Fire Department's um, internet connection? And so I'm trying to explain to these people in the car, right? Because I was pooling. I was trying to explain what exactly happened, but I'm like, I'm not proficient at all this like internet technology language to talk about it. And it's the same thing with health. I'm like, carbs are bad. You're welcome. <laughs> um, and so actually, so interesting thing is um, with milk. So milk is really bad for me. Wait, wait, hold up. So milk is really bad for you. <laughs> uh, it actually is, though. Um, and so... I, at some point in my life, did research about, like, what's the deal with milk and is there any, like, safe way to consume it? Like, why is it bad for you? How is it that the milk actually drains you of uh, calcium rather than supplying you with it? And I found some source being like, oh, it's actually, it's the pasteurization process that makes, makes milk bad for you. And so that's what I believed for a while. And then I tried to like fact check that again. And I could not find a single source like backing up that claim. And not just that, I couldn't even find the original thing that I found that was like, it's the pasteurization process. So if you want to drink milk, it better be like raw milk. And, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what the deal with that is, so I guess, just general, I, I, and I don't know whether milk specifically is worse than, say, like, um, cheese, because cheese is just, like, rotten, solid milk, right? Um... Uh, what's going on? Oh, thank you. Thank you for sharing uh, my stuff. Uh, are the nails a different subtool? No, they are a different polygroup. So I masked them out and they're there. So because this is isolated, so I can work on this however I want. Um, actually, hello, can you switch? All right. No. Let's see. Oh no, don't do that. Okay, let's uh nope. Can you thanks. Thanks. I'm trying to align the normal in a way that's beneficial to oops. Beneficial to what I'm trying to make happen over here. So that looks all right. And what was it? Yeah. So this is like weirdly turned. So I'm just going to attempt to do something like that. Mm, no. Gotta turn it this way and that way. Yeah, that looks fine to me. All right. Um. All right, I think I should put music back on. Ads should be gone now. Oh, wow. Wow, is that a thing? Okay. All right. Uh, did Spotify just, like, block me from playing music? Because if it did, that's really rude. Oh, no, it didn't. All right, great. Okay, music is back, um, as it should be, right? All right, let's see if, oh, what's going on? All right, cheese makes you addict, what? Special, what? <sighs> okay, water is the best for you, it really is. There we go. And then what's going on? Um, 
Casa Morphin is made inside of you, so go read about it. Milk and all dairy products are bad for you. I feel like everything is bad for you. Make cow pregnant to produce milk. Take yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, <sighs> yeah, but it tastes so good. <laughs> I can't live without cheese. Also, I should not rub my fingers on my eyes when I'm wearing eyeshadow. No, water is the best. Seriously. Everybody should drink at least two liters a, a day. Um, Alright, let's do this. If milk is old, just mix it. Alright. I don't like reading that sentence. That made me uncomfortable. Alright, so it's starting to look more like a hand, right? Mm, wow, so chill. What a, what a, what chill music. <laughs> um Dude, um no, no, no. I know, but here's my, here's my thing. So Hot dogs are like the mo kind of the most disgusting thing ever, right? Um, and people still eat it. So I, I don't, I've probably talked about this on my stream before, but bug flour, like insect flour, is what I think the Western cultures need to, um, you know, start adapting. Because it's just like, if people can eat hot dogs, I'm pretty sure they can eat some, like, really protein-rich flour. Because um, the thing is, insects, like, first of all, like, they're not the most sentient of beings, right? Um, but also, from an economical, st I mean, from, like, a standpoint of uh, resources, it's just, like, they're easy to feed. They reproduce incredibly quickly. You know, you don't have to like artificially inseminate them or anything. Like they're gonna be reproducing, right? And so, um, and it's actually really healthy from the standpoint of it's just like you get a lot of bang for your buck, right? Um, and so it's just like, I think if you manage to remarket it in a way that is not disgusting to people, people will eat it. Because it's like, people eat hot dogs. Hot dogs are literally like everything you would not ever eat, but it's ground up and made to look like something more uh, palatable. So people eat it. Um... Uh, <laughs> put what on the Starbucks menu? I have no idea what's happening. Um, God, this hand sculpting. I'm like, this is the least interesting and I, I like most unexciting thing that I could do. No, literally, if you can eat hot dogs, you can eat insect flour. Whenever I talk about this discussion, people are, like, really grossed out by it. Or then you have the people who aren't that grossed out by it, but they're just like, well, why don't you just go vegan? Da -da 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 -da. Like, that's... And I'm like, um... I would love to, but it's not going to happen. What I can do is more ethically source the animal products that I do consume. But I also totally think that um, bug flowers should be a thing. Because it's just like, not only do you spend way less water and resources growing these, uh, the source of food, right? Um, but also, it's not, it's not unhealthy or anything. And I think that it's just, the way to go <sighs> you know i was reading some like really horrible grim U un report on like global warming and climate change so i'm like not not very happy today 
um, Let's get a like some amount of definition at the knuckles, and then I'll be. What is the song? What is that? All right. Don't disappoint me. All right. Oh God. I need a chiropractor. That's what I need. <laughs> Also, I didn't know, but apparently, um, ooh, ooh. okay, sorry, I, I'm gonna read your thing, because I'm, like, reacting to something, and people have no idea what I'm doing, so, I wouldn't even need it, remarket it, would happily go with roasted maggots, or whatever, as long as it is tasty. Most people are not you, <laughs> so it's, like, it has to look good, also, right, it has to be palatable. Alright, that's sort of a head, let's move like the joint up there, so I feel like it's just her fingers are like really long, but her hand, like the hand itself is not that big of a deal, oh my god, this is the, oof, me publicly disclaiming that this is one of the ugliest hands that I've ever made. Okay, so this song is kind of funky. I'm not disappointed. Alright. Amazing. Alright, looks like a hand more so than before. Let's actually... We're not gonna see too much of like the definition of the knuckles and like the, this part of the hand. Hello, can you? Thanks. Alright. Let's do that. This should be done at like a somewhat higher subdivision level, but who cares? See, this is great practice for if I ever become a teacher. Um, make me, you know, it's like you, the thing is you always have to do something that's like quicker and like easily palatable slash enjoyable to watch um which i think currently with this project it's not i'm doing like the not so interesting more difficult things that i probably need to look at more reference for but i don't want to spend like 10 minutes on stream looking for reference I'm going to divide this. There we go. Alright. Looks like... Some, I mean, it's still a little wobbly. It could obviously be better, but... For the purposes of what I'm trying to go, I'll say it's okay. I'm going to pose it. And... Alright. God, that is not good. And like for the purposes of blah 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 and then like three seconds later I'm like nope that's not working. Alright. Okay, 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 fine, fine, fine. I'm gonna move on. Me, fine, fine, fine. I'm gonna move on. Does not move on. <laughs> um I'm pretty sure you're going to find it difficult to define exactly what anything is mass produced by any other species other than men what uh 
oh my god, way too much information. I'm not... Oh, uh, how many points am I at? Let's see. I am... So this... That's high. How is that possible? How did that happen? Oh, I guess that makes sense. Alright, so this is 25,000. And then, actually, I could reconstruct this one more time. Um, so this is... Let's see it. 6... 25 and 100 ish. So, yeah. Alright. Cool. Oh, God, that looks not. Not great. I'm like hating this hand over here. But that's good, though. It's like not being satisfied with something if it's not good. It's a good thing. So what's happening with her is it's her it's actually creating more of a curve like this. So I'm going to quickly try and emulate that on a lower subdivision level. Alright. Actually, let me... Um, yeah, that looks good to me. So it's like, right? It's that. And then, um, let's... that rotate um actually let me put that at the base over here all right that looks good to me so it's like all right hand is slightly like that i need to move it this way but you have to make sure oops that's not entirely unmasked. Alright, move it a little bit this way, but what that means more so is even like movement in this direction. And then also I just have to um oops. Um focus on like that. Nobody cares about the thumb, it's fine. Um, <laughs> which skin mad cap are you using? So I made one, my, I modified the poly skin one. Yeah, so the one that's called like poly skin, I modified that to be cool to like to my liking, so... I'm trying, I'm going to make one more modification to it so I can have like a lip gloss thing too. So I think that would be cool. Alright, so it's a little bit of that. Cool. Now, so it's like if it's that is the angle. Sure. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll say this is fine. And then take the pinky and um go there. No, 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 no. What's going on? Um, let's see if anything is happening. And the Facebook chat. Um, all right. Nothing's going on. Just totally fine by me. Uh, hmm. 
one for one second. Alright, yeah. Let's keep that there. Uh, God. My brain right now, I'm like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Dude, yeah, Facebook is the worst. That, God. Okay, so I don't understand why, I mean, I understand why, obviously. Uh, so now they're really trying to market it to, like, older people. So they keep doing these weird things, and I'm like, I don't have dementia. Please stop acting towards me like I do. Um... And so the other day, uh, I don't know. I just really don't like it. It's the worst. Um, let's see. Right. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, that's like a very JoJo thing. Like, hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can do that. There we go. But also, like, turn it down a little bit. Yeah. Seems alright to me. I'm honestly gonna go back to this later and fix it because I'm not in love with everything that's happening, but that's fine. TBH. Uh, alright, great. Um, you know what, every now and then I watch other people's streams and I'm like, wow, you are so much, like, you're such a better narrator, and you're so nice. I'm like, not that there's people who are just like really good at being chill and whatnot and i'm like nope can't do it <laughs> um let's see also i want to stream on my own channel but i don't know uh what i'm gonna be doing because i don't want to do something i'm not proficient at like, say, if I were to be working on hair cards, it would be me yelling at the computer a lot. And then feeling all this pressure to, like, both perform well, but also, like, actually focus on what I'm doing. So it's just too much multitasking from that standpoint. Like, I would rather uh, focus on getting it done in a good way rather than focusing on, like, presenting something to people. Like, I can do it later if I'm, like, fine-tuning stuff. But it's, like, doing haircuts is one of the most boring things to watch because it's so time-consuming. Um, and so what I plan on doing for that Venetian lady character thing is I want to make, like, a braid. Like, uh, like, I guess, like, a milkmaid braid thing. I think that would be cool. Um... All right. Oh, right. Um, there we go. Perfect. Looks more like a hand now. Ugh, ugly. Um, narrating is just talking. I disagree. No. Because with narrating, you're, it's literally, you're crafting a narrative, right? You're, um, and that's why I actually like streaming and makes me more aware of my process and how. I can make my process more efficient in my own time because it's like when you have the pressure of other people watching you. Um, 
Actually, let's do this in this shader. Um, oops, sorry. Um, I mean, it's good in my opinion because it makes you think more about how to approach things in a way that is, um, I don't know, it makes you more aware of your own process rather, rather than you just like being like, oh yeah, I know how to do this, I'm gonna do whatever. Um, makes you less like loosey-goosey about what you're doing. Oh, you are learning? Okay, that's great. I'm glad. Um, cause I don't like wasting people's or my own time. And I mean, I'm not wasting my time cause obviously I'm like working on this project and it's cool. And it's like, even if I never end up doing anything from it, I'm gonna end up learning something. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm like feeling quite low key today. I think normally I have much more energy. Um, all right, I'm starting to actually like the hands. Boom. It's it's a thing. Things are happening. Mm. Hard to concentrate while you're talking. Yeah, it really is. Also, you have a cool name. Thanks. My parents gave it to me. <laughs> so, okay. Interesting thing. I was actually talking about this yesterday. So, in America, a lot of people have middle names, right? Not really a thing. People, in, it's not that common in like Slavic countries to have a middle name. But I do, I, so I was baptized at I think like two months or something like that. And um, I was baptized under a different name than my legal name is. And so, that name is Makedunka, which means Macedonian woman in Macedonian. If you ever wanted to know that, there you go. Ugh, I like, okay, moving on. I need more reference for this, to be honest. And my hands aren't like the most feminine, to be honest. I have like good baby hands, you know? Like, my hands are very, like, ooh, I'm still 10 years old. Um, just fine, because both of my parents have, like, less good-looking hands than me. So I don't know who, like, the, the gods smiled upon me and didn't give me, like, short, stubby fingers. Instead, I just have baby hands. I also have, like, incredibly small hands. Um, God, I actually measured my hand with... Um, Every now and then, I'm like, every now and then I come into contact with people who are under the age of, like, 20. <laughs> um, no, so I was uh, helping out with this music video that a friend of mine was directing. And there was this one kid that I think he was, like, 10 years old, maybe. Um, and we they needed, like, a baby hand prints for something and I was like oh I can try and so I like I was trying to figure out who had a small hand like me or this 10 year old boy it was me um um yeah so let's go with that yeah, the hands aren't very detailed in the, in the concept, but I'm trying to add a little more structure. And so that's the thing with 3D. It's like you can't uh, be married to the concept a thousand percent. It's like you have to make it work 
Oh, I forgot that that's uh, not a defensive tool. Um, okay, so you know what's really crazy, and this is what I found out at the ZBrush Summit, is people actually watch my streams. That's, I'm like, oh, all right. And it's not just like, I don't know, it's weird. It, it really is so bizarre to me that people actually watch my streams and, like, and they like them. I'm like, oh my god, thank you. I don't feel like I'm shouting into the void. But it's weird, because then, you know, it adds the pressure. And now I feel really bad, and I'm like, oh my god, the hands have to be so much better, because people are watching us. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, that's a thing. Ugh. I wish I could do better. <laughs> in this situation because okay so what it's been like an hour and 20 minutes of me sculpting and i feel like i could be mm, more further along with this but it's fine to be honest it's okay all right it's a hand sort of I'm not loving what's happening in this area at all but i'm also not looking at reference right now which is a horrible no what you should be doing is looking at reference but i can't stream and look at reference and talk and i don't know do everything at the same time um these and they're kind of fat i don't like that Um, where is that? There's like a little, I'm like, and there's like a little bump, we're never gonna see it. Why am I occupying myself with this unimportant stuff? Okay, fuck it. I need to move on. I, I can't keep toiling on this. So let's, um, looks like a hand to me. Um, all right. Let's give her hmm, how to approach this. Um, let's see. So she has like a bunch of lacy stuff around here. And the way that I would do it personally is I would actually model that out in Maya and like UV it nicely. And then um, like UV it is a square, right? Not a square, but like a rectangle. And then um, what I would do is I would essentially like draw the pattern, make a mask or like make the texture, put the mask on it, turn that into a mesh. So I would only have the black parts or whatever. And then I could bake that down onto a plane and have a beautiful alpha generated thing. But that's a lot of effort. You know what? Let's do it. Um, no, I can use I can use Maya in this stream. Um, Oh, are you sculpting hands? Great. <laughs> what? You went on the island? What was the prize? Oh, oh, I got a form to go away, please. Oh, oh, okay, so they're punishing me for muting the um, ads. Wow, thanks, Spotify. Ugh, is my internet bad? Alright, no, I don't think so. Um, Alright, okay. Um, what was I gonna say? Alright, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna do that, to be honest. Uh, just because people might actually find it useful for me to do that. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, 
do it that way because otherwise it's gonna be super counter productive for me to do anything in uh, ZBrush if, if I don't do it this way and I don't I'm waiting thank god it's happening but finally we're getting a decent UV editor in ZBrush so I don't have to keep going back and forth between applications. Oh, but this might make my stream really slow and choppy because I might have like way too many applications running. Mm, I don't like the prospect. Ooh. All right, we'll see. We'll see what will happen. Hopefully this will be fast and not prone to bad situations. Um, my, um, um, what's going on? I mean, <laughs> not eating anything it's a gum um dude you gotta chill out though um i okay so you know what i'm gonna actually uh, briefly cruise along the topic of um how i'm way nicer when i'm like in europe <laughs> But it's like, it's good that I come back because it's like I'm confronted with the fact that there's just people who are really rude. Um, and so I feel much more inclined to be like snappy and be like, hey, can you not? Um, so yeah, can you not? <laughs> but um, no, it's fine, it's fine. But sometimes... Um, People obviously are like really weird on stream or like they do something weird and I'm like, can you chill out? But also I'm trying to not be rude at the same time. Um, and people don't always listen to you. And I'm also not the best at like moderating my streams. So that happens. All right, did Maya finally do the thing? Where is it? Hello? Okay, there we go. Nope, Maya doesn't... It's not having a good time. Alright, we're not gonna do this. I'm gonna do it on my own time, though. And we're not gonna finish this today. We're gonna focus on other aspects. For now, we're just gonna have, like, a little block in. Um, which is going to be a cylinder. Alright. Um, let's do it like this. Hello, no perspective. Um, delete hidden and then do that. Actually, what I could do is this like delete hidden, then that. Oops, do this, scale it down like that, or no, hmm, alright, um, I'm not really sure what's going on, okay, I'm just going to do this. Um, delete. Poly loop. There we go. Hands are not that bad. What's bad is feet. Feet are difficult and um, way more difficult in my opinion. Um... Oh my god, why are you sculpting my ex? I don't know. 
if that's your ex, then congrats. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Um. All right, let's make that happen. Was your ex a vampire with lavender hair? <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, I should put uh, music back on. I'm in a way that Spotify doesn't block me from it. Because I always turn off the ads. Because, you know, people don't want to hear that. Amazing. I don't like this song. Alright, I'm back. Hey Victor, what's up? How are you doing? Um, well, yeah, that's the thing about uh, feed is most of the time they're in like... Sh most of the time they're in like shoes. So people don't end up seeing them. But that's bad because you end up getting like way less practice doing feed. And feed are like pretty complex, I think. Let's see. Now I got something like that. Hmm. Oops. There we go. Totally a hand. Alright, so I'm going to briefly merge that down. So I can, um, actually, let me... Oops, no, 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 don't do that. Alright, um, and fill that with that color, and there we go. Alright, that's better. Okay, um, so I'm gonna increase the size. Let's see. Bigger. Yeah. Oof. Ooh, yeah. From the side, that doesn't look great. <laughs> kind of like that. Slightly more at an angle. Slightly smaller. I think her head actually, like, so the, the proportion of this is a, too large, I think. Um, like, let's make that smaller. And this, I think, is also, oops. Um, let's merge all of that together. Sorry for my chewing. Um, yeah, so I don't have this overlap going on. I have no idea what's happening. Um, is anything happening in the chat? Okay. Well, we'll see. It's like I'm still working on it, right? So um, I'm just kind of trying to gauge what to make look like what. 
right? Okay, let's see if anything's happening on YouTube. Nope. Alright. Um. Okay. So, let's do that. Doesn't really, yeah. This is currently simply preview purposes. This is not how I would approach it from a production standpoint. Like, no, don't do this. This is bad. I would actually like model this out in my eye. Right? Um, just because I get much more control over the topology flow and whatnot. Um. Boom. Let's not have that on solo. Okay. Well, terrifying. That is a terrifying view. Alright. Oh, okay, very interesting. So the thing with the her collar is it actually does that. Boom. Ah. Yes, thank you. Um, there we go. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, let's hide that because it's bothering me. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Boom, out there. God, yeah, my brain is fried right now. I'm actually trying to like focus on what I'm doing. Um, let's see. Yeah, that looks good let's bring that up like change that silhouette her head still maybe it's the framing or something but per, maybe it's just the eyes the eyes need to be still slightly bigger than they are right now i don't know you know i'm gonna like Hmm. What? There. I think because, like, in the image, you don't see as much, like, from a framing standpoint. If I, because I am doing this. Her head ends up looking kind of smaller. I also think her nose is a little bit different. It's a little bit shorter. Like. also something about the hair that I'm not feeling from a proportional standpoint. Like, I also think the ears are probably larger. Yeah, I think the ears are larger. Like, they pop up more. 
Boom. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is the part of the stream where I'm like, meh, 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 I can't think of cool things to talk about. I am sorry. <laughs> Um, no. Alright. Also, like, not in love with the what's happening with the hair on this one, but it's okay. Yeah, that feels better to me. Oh, um, soon she will, she will ignore the chat and start to sing. Have I done that before? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I have, but... <laughs> um, I can't sing to this music. I need something to actually sing about, though. Um, also, like, I'm just letting people talk whatever they want to talk about um let's see let's see god i don't know i feel like the eyes maybe need to be slightly bigger Actually, a local symmetry. Yeah. That feels better. Yeah. I think I'm gonna... You love my voice. There's something wrong with you if that's the case. God, I really want cheese in my life right now. Cheese is really great. <laughs> It's like manchego, that's what I need in my life. Oh no, not you. I was talking to somebody yesterday about manchego and we bonded over that. It was great, because most people, they don't know about manchego. It's the best cheese. Um, yeah, that's, that's cool. All right, I'm gonna work on the hands a little more. Get them to match a little better. Also make the nails more voluminous. Uh, oh dang, I just got introduced to Manchego recently. Manchego is the best. Okay, hold up, let me pull it up. Everybody deserves to try it. Who's, I guess, not lactose intolerant or vegan you're all welcome this is the best cheese seriously oh my god i can't uh, i'm getting so hungry <laughs> i'm gonna put this away but you're all welcome. It's the best. Um, um, yeah, they sell it everywhere, I think, actually. I found it, so the first time I tried it, I was in Slovakia. And I was, like, me and my mom were, like, blown away. And then, um... 
I realize that I actually sell it like Trader Joe's. And I mean, I don't really shop at Whole Foods. They have it at Whole Foods. It's the same thing. But it's like, I think it's around for like one, you know, triangular slice thing. It's, uh, what, like $4 or something? This music is way too try hard. Cool. Um, what is going on? Um, oh god, vegan manchego sounds horrible. Just like, uh, you shouldn't eat that anyways. Like, <sighs> vegetable oil-based products are not good. I was actually, I was at a friend's house the other day and I saw that he just has like bottles of vegetable oil and I was yelling at him for it because it's like, why? Why would you do that to yourself? It's like, it's not, I just don't understand. Um... But yeah, vegan cheese is probably also not really good for you. Because it's it would be made out of uh, vegetable oils. I don't even want to get into it. I had a grilled cheese yesterday that I was like, why do they always put the worst cheese in this? It's like the cheese doesn't even taste like cheese. It kind of like has that like plasticky feel and I'm like that's not what cheese is supposed to be doing like cheese is a solid it's not supposed to like melt in your mouth in a way right um melt in a very vegetable oily way so like I don't know I have many feelings about cheese and vegetable oil okay um but Okay, um, I'm trying to work on, like, the fingers a little more where, um, God, okay, there we go. Um, so it all makes sense, kind of, and all the fingers go together. So in case I decide to do, like, one, like, a slightly, like, pen thing, or it's like, no, sorry, actually, it's more like, no, rendering, um, you know, I'm doing a 3D object, right? It should look good from all sides. It's the whole thing about 3D. <laughs> no, 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 not all uh, vegan imitation food is bad. Just specifically stuff that uses vegetable oil. It's really not great for you. Also, okay, so like... There's foods that contain a lot of estrogen, which is also not that good but yeah also it's funny that um somehow like kale has become this super food and it's like it's not i mean kale's great but it's just not that like there are better more nutritious foods than kale. Um, it just tastes really great, right? Last time I was streaming, I was telling people how to make kale properly. So the thing with kale is you have to massage it. Like you legit have to like massage your kale for like a minute or so um, for it to be its optimal flavor and texture also because usually kale is just kind of like hard and bitter and it's not that enjoyable but it can be especially if you saute it in butter yeah um Hello, can you please? Thank you. 
Um, did Narrow Man Trigger was so famous around the world? I don't think it is because nobody seems to share my passion. Like, very rarely do I find people who share my passion for it. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, but it's my favorite cheese, if that makes you feel any better. <laughs> like, okay, also, like, Spain has the best salami, I think. Some of the best salami. It's just all these things that are not particularly great for you. But what does it matter, you know? I keep, I, I sound like I care a lot about health and I try to, but I'm not particularly good at living up to my uh, long rants about things. Ugh, see that? That's ugly. Yeah, I gotta move that up. Um, move that up to like here, have that happen, have that happen, have this be straight. Um, it looks pretty decent from like this angle. And boom, it's a hand. Yeah, it is happening. Totally, totally happening. Boom. All right, there we go. Do, 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 do. Terrible index finger that I'm not in love with, but it's okay. Um, let's see, what does that look like? All right, I wanted to adjust, like, the angle of this a little bit, so it matches the concept a little bit better. Um, let's do that. And then do that anime thing where it's like the middle and the ring finger are like really close to each other. Creates a nice visual element or whatever. Um, let's put that there. Oops, put that there. Like, work. Move it a little bit. Um, what's going on? Okay, uh, all right, friendly reminder. Mm, I'm still working on the so giving, it's like unless I ask for a critique, telling me that something is somehow probably not going to be very uh, useful. Um, why am I breaking her fingers like that? Uh, you got such a great eye for details. Thanks. Um, hello, how are you? How's life treating you today? Yeah, that looks better to me. That fingernail is messed up. See that? I'm not swearing.
Um, hey Donna, nice to see you continue this. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm trying to see if I can just like finish it. I'm debating on whether or not, um, you know, I'm starting to think that maybe I should not sculpt the hair and um, like do it an extra. Then I'd have to do the same thing with the eyelashes. Ugh. I'm now my like the my vision's getting darker. I'm like, oh, do I want to do that? Um, as I kind of have priorities right now, I'm trying to update my portfolio so people know that I know how to do things. Um, show more like technical stuff. So I'm gonna be doing some focusing on other stuff. I'm gonna be sculpting a giant at some point soon. Um, so like finish up some projects that I have from a while back. Uh, uh, yeah, let's see some extra. Um, yeah, on my own channel, probably. Because this is a ZBrush stream, so I want to make it ZBrush centric. Okay, so at some point I moved this and I messed it up. Woo, how great. Mm, and it's not letting me reconstruct the subdivision levels. Great times. God, I don't like that. Um, giant, awesome. Yeah, I wanna, there's so many really great giant concepts. So here's my thing with like character art. It's actually so, it's so difficult to find um, good concept, like a good design, so if that makes sense. Cause there's a lot of like pretty images, but there aren't that many like great designs. And, um, yeah, I'm just, I think that it dawned on me that a lot of, like, uh, giants do have good design sensibility. And, I, like, it has elements that I'm looking for in a project. Because I do a lot of very feminine things. Like, I don't know, I have, I incline more towards more feminine vibe projects right and i feel like a giant is not that but it doesn't feel forced like it feels like a very natural like i don't know like a broody whatever mood um because then it's like if, if somebody's wearing like actual clothing i end up being like mm, i don't know about that um, finding good concept art is hard, to be honest. Because it's like, you always, there's obviously a lot of great concepts, but I'm like, I need to make it work for my portfolio, because I need to, like, maximize the different points of, like, what is it that I want to show off. So, like I don't want it to just be um, like a cool thing. It's like I want to display a certain amount of technical ability with what I'm going to be doing, but also like design sensibility related things. Um, and but also not make it like too challenging. You know, it's better to go some somewhat simpler and like finish the project and do it well than to overcomplicate things for yourself. Um, so that's gonna be interesting. Alrighty. Amazing. Ultimate ears mega boom free wireless speaker. Excuse me. Alright. Oh, god damn. Oh, they actually block me from. Wow. 
know, Spotify. Look at you. Alright. What's going on in chat? Beautiful, good job. Thank you. Do a female giant. A challenge, uh, female giant. Nah, I'm gonna do a male. Too many females in my life and my artistic endeavors. Um, what do you think constitutes a good design? Actually, good question. Um, so there's obviously um, design that's good, but I personally am like, I don't want to spend, I don't know how many hours doing this. Obviously, like it's my own time that I'm going to be using to do it. So it better be something good, right? Um, but what constitutes a good design, man? I don't even know how to explain it. So there's, there's uh, a moment of like functionality that's important. Um, so it's like if you're choosing to do something, it has to function well, in my opinion, because it's like if you're going to be animating it, the collision of what you're doing should make sense and like the movements should make sense, right? Um, and then other stuff that makes a good design is, uh, let's say with like the face, does the, and that's the thing with like character design is just like you're not just creating a person that could exist. You're create, you're trying to create a manifestation of like a personality, right? And it's like everything about this character has to be reflected within all uh, portions of the design. Which is why I really hate it when people keep, and I, I mean, you see this a lot on like art websites and whatnot, where it's just like, um, a sexy warrior girl, but her face is kind of like, mm, you know, she looks like kind of uncomfortable or she looks like in her face, she looks 12 or something. And I'm just like, she is this strong, sexy warrior lady who doesn't care about, you know, her internal organs being ripped apart, then at least, like, show that in the face. Um, I feel like at that point, it's like everything has to, if you're picking a mood, it doesn't matter. It's like if you're picking a direction, you have to stick with it. You can't just, like, bounce around with different archetypes and ideas. Um, and so... Um, that's a thing, for example, or it's like, I guess I could look on my Pinterest and just like look at random designs, um, and in order to elaborate a little bit better on that question, let's go on Pinterest, because it's like I go through my character design board and I am like, all right, Cool. but actually like when I start to deconstruct it I always find things that I uh, I'm not like that in love with for like what I I personally want to create right because um, I'm always like okay well this is what I want out of a character and it's very difficult for me to pinpoint the designs that fulfill that um, so there's a lot of really cool designs where it's like you look at it and you're like, yeah, that's cool. Or like, for example, somebody who I think is both really great at um, illustration, like presentation, right? But also good at design is Ian McKegg. His work is beautiful. Like, not only is it beautiful, but it's also really good design. And it all has to do with like the flow of forms and how the forms reflect on the character. Like, it, it, uh, there's a storytelling element that I think is ignored a lot. Um, within the entertainment industry and within like concept art where it's just like you know people think more about like oh what's cool what's flashy like what brushes do you use how do you make something look cool but it's like once you actually start deconstructing the design itself it's not um, that great of a storytelling tool um, so I think in my opinion, it all has to, it all comes down to like, what is it that you're trying to say and how do you choose to say that? Cause there's so many variations to that, right? It's quite open-ended. Um, 
And so there's a lot of great designs, but at the same time, it's like, okay, great design, but what the what would that design show off from a practical standpoint, from like a production standpoint? It's like for yourself, right? For your portfolio. Um, what does this contribute? What does it show if I do this? But also it's in a way it's like, what, what does it say about yourself, right? Because it's like people don't just randomly spend hours working on things um there is always like a subconscious telegraphing uh about yourself through the things that you choose to do right um and so you have to be mindful also like what is it that you are essentially like saying to the world about yourself as an artist and as a person while also like showing off your artistic abilities. Um, all right, gonna paint her nails now. Uh, gray, that's not gray. Gray, no, two, all right, that's good. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to make music happen. Boom. Yeah. Music is happening. Um All right. Uh thank you. That was a good answer. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> um yeah, so it's like, it always, um, there's designs that I think are good, but I'm like, this is great, but it doesn't have the elements that I need from a practical standpoint, or it's just like things that I repeat in my artwork too often, so it's always good to have like variety in what you're doing. Um but not too much variety or people will be or people won't be able to really get a grasp of who it is that you are and what is it that you like right okay i'm gonna quickly make an eyelash brush i'm really hungry i think i might end the stream a little bit sooner because i really want to eat Onion rings have been on my mind a lot lately. What's this music? Okay. Um, what's going on? Not that much. Why? I, oh my god, Novak. I don't know, why are you seeing this? You're the one looking at it, right? <laughs> it's not a question you should be asking me, but a question you should be asking yourself. Um, let's see. I actually forgot where I left off with whatever it is that I was saying, but it's fine. Um... I'm going to make an eyelash now. Okay, let's do that. Um, soft deformer? Yeah. Nah. Alright. Amazing. Looks like an eyelash to me. Novak, you're terrible, just so you know. But I'm pretty sure I've told you that before. Um, Gizmo. Um, scale that up. Okay, let's scale it up like that. No, you can't do that. All right. I see how it is. All right. Or 
this for me. All right, amazing. Now I always forget what um, orientation this should be in order for me to do this well, but whatever, we'll, we'll experiment, I guess. Great, insert mesh, new, turn on curve. All right, let's see. What now? All right, so not what I want. Um, yeah, all right. Let's try it this way. Create insert, new, curve. What about now? No! Still not what I want. All right, um, like that maybe? Create. New. All right, curve mouth. Yes, there we go. We got some eyelashes going on. All right. Um. All right. Let me duplicate this and delete higher. All right. Uh, what? Oh yeah. I'm like, what's going on? Oh, <laughs> spooky. Also, you know what's kind of really messed up within the last like, two days? There's been, I've gotten like so many Amber Alerts on my phone. I'm like, this is why people don't let their children go trick or treating. Like, this is horrible. You know? Um, I hope everybody finds their children because that's just not great. Uh, what industry are you more interested in? Uh, VFX or games or other? So I personally actually don't care too much about the industry, like the pipeline portion of itself, because obviously it's like even within the industry, um, pipeline will be very different from studio to studio. Um, but another thing... Um, let's check the spacing. Um, I care more about, like, the project itself and about the people I'm working with rather, like, when I say the project itself, it's like, okay, well, how much freedom do I have um, and how much input, like, how much does my input matter? Like, am I just another cog in the machine or uh, is... Am I kind of like part of a team and I'm and am, am I helpful? What is going on? Oh my poor ears. Um so there's I'm not pretty like I know pipelines both for like VFX games, um like 3D printing. It's not I'm not, uh, like, limited by that, and honestly, like, I just don't care that much about the pipeline itself or about the product itself, right? Because it's like the, you have to be somewhat removed from your work. I, I, would, I don't think I would like to work a very long, like, for a very, I don't know. It's better to be slightly less passionate about your work because you can lose that passion very easily later, right? So it's like a lot of people who want to work in games work in games because they love games. But I'm like, eh, you know, I care more about the actual end product and like what can I contribute to this project as opposed to like, oh this is so cool and I want to work on it because it's cool like in as a final product but not as like oh this is cool to work on right so there's things that like um projects that are really cool to turn on but they end up being garbage what you know that sucks when that happens but um 
Yeah, I think that is my answer to that question. There we go. Um, God, my nose is so itchy. It's really annoying. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, um, so, I don't know. I'm like, it depends. It's like, I care more about the ethics of it and, like, who I'm working with as opposed to the pipeline, because that's the only thing that's different, right? It's the... Like, how are you creating the thing? It's like, if it's really finicky, then that sucks. Um, I think that's alright. It's too many. Let's adjust that. Alright, here it is. Nope, not what I want. Can my nose please stop itching? Wash your nose, girl. That's rude. Also, washing it isn't gonna make it itch any less. Yeah, it's not gonna help. Washing doesn't alleviate itching. Um... I wish it did. I know, I know, I know. I'm like not in the best mood today. <laughs> but also I'm really pissed off about this nose thing. Like if I wish, God, do I have anything? No, it's like, I don't know what to do about it. My nose, I don't have any. I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, yeah, I think that works. Trying to get the eyelashes to- okay, let's just hide that. Trying to get the eyelashes to get like the- that look where it's like thicker. Um, boom, there we go. I don't even know why it's itching. Like, it's not dry or anything. Maybe if I... Okay, I have some water, maybe. Is it gonna help? Who knows? I guess we'll find out. This is the stream where I put water on my nose. You're all very welcome. It's not making it better. It's actually making it way worse. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> right? So weird. <laughs> I'm sure that um, there is like a superstition. It's like when your nose itches, somebody's talking bad about you. Or like, uh, in, I don't know. There's something like that, probably. <laughs> Thanks. You're all welcome for that beautiful piece of performance art. God, oh my god, it's not getting any better. Oh my god, uh, the, it's actually way worse right now. And I'm trying to distract myself with these eyelashes. It's like, it's okay, don't worry about it. Even though your nose wants you to kill yourself. Um, do, yeah, I know moisturizer is a thing. Okay, PSA to all the men who think they don't need moisturizer because it's like a 
feminine thing to do or whatever please use moisturizer especially if you're like before the age of 30 so a lot of guys think that um you know like you aging makes you look better and it's like no there are specific types of men who look better with age but you won't know if you're that person or not until you get there and once you get there it's too late and your face is all wrinkly and dry and you're like wow i wish i moisturized when i was like 25. okay that isn't really beautiful or anything um but yeah so i guess what you should take out of this is you should totally moisturize if you're a dude this is like socially not accept not not, not acceptable it seem like feminine or whatever and it's like no why is taking care of yourself seen as not masculine right isn't that weird why can't people take care of themselves and care how they look without it being like weird to do i can't get over it. it's very this is like a very frustrating thing to me i'm like can you please moisturize it's like wear sunscreen when you go outside the sun is so bad for you i this stream by the way is like on today's episode of everything is really horrible for you donna talks about the sun carbs dairy and who else whatnot and then yeah um also sunscreen yes oh my god and thank you so much for understanding me wow i feel um yeah god jesus christ i can't um also my nose is still itching really bad <laughs> stop paying attention you're doing well paying attention to what what are you talking about oh the nose that's not how physical sensations work i think I'm trying not to pay attention, but it's hard. It's hard when it's right there, you know? Okay, that's not doing what I wanted to. Um... Um... Yeah, so whoever, I mean, people need to figure out how to market skincare products. That is my, it's, oh my god, it's like, whenever people start uh, marketing, like, makeup towards men, and so it's like, eye, it's not eyeliner, it's guy liner. It's like, alright, just do the thing, for God's sake. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Um. Um. All right, eyelashes are there. Should make her makeup darker and her face bloodier. Ugh, that was the worst joke you could have possibly make. Made, sorry, bad English. No, but I really hate it when people think that um, if you're a guy and you care about how you look, it makes you like there's literally a term for it why is metrosexual a term it shouldn't be caring about how you look should not be like a like a, being a man and caring how you look should not be like a separate thing like, that's weird why why is this a thing it, it upsets me so much because i was like talking to a friend of mine yesterday he was like why am i why is my skin always so ashy and i'm like because you don't moisturize like there is a reason why this is happening <sighs> and but, like these are the types of things that frustrate me a lot so um 
And it's like dudes don't even know what they're missing out on. Because they're too busy being duty or whatever. That is a really cringy comparison, yeah. Um, what's wrong with my nose? Um, right? Exactly. No, I totally agree. Um, cargo pants are a crime against you. <laughs> was telling me that yesterday so somebody's uh some girl started dating a guy who was like really well dressed and then progressively into the relationship he started you know, like dressing worse and worse and he ended up wearing these like really ugly cargo pants with like 50 pockets and somebody asked him like dude what happened and he's like yeah my girlfriend she has no pockets so i have to be essentially like the human bag that's walking around I have to wear these ugly pants for it. Uh, got to look good. Oh God. Ugh. I, I really don't think I actually have no idea how that relates to anything we've been saying. I don't see the relation. Unless you live in like somewhere where it's winter all the time. She should get a purse or a dress with pockets. Okay, finding dresses with pockets is impossible, but I agree. You get a bag, not a human person to have to take care of that for you, right? Yeah? It's a little rude. <laughs> no, 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 don't switch. Um, I mean, I always just have, like, finding clothing, like, I, you know what I hate? Fake pockets. Fake pockets are, like, it's the worst thing ever. So, guys might not be aware of this, but, like, a lot of women's pants have what looks like our pockets but they're actually just like stone shut and so it's like you have the aesthetics of a pocket but not the functionality and it's the dumbest thing ever seriously like i cannot get over how stupid that is also this would be better with like some alpha stuff going on um but i'm too lazy to find something of that caliber right now or maybe i can find an alpha in here that will work. Um, what about that? Yeah, maybe. A little bit of that. Um, maybe something like this could look alright. I'm not feeling it. Oh. Um, she. Um, that makes sense. Cargo pants are cursed. Um, yeah, fake pockets are. Ugh. Who thought that was a good idea? Somebody. Oh, you know who thought it was a good idea? Because here's the thing. It's um, it's all about money, right? So it's like if you have fake fake pockets you're still required to buy a purse still rely on buying other things in order to function like a normal person um which is really stupid um it's the same thing with like makeup products where it's like oh in order for this pro like in order for your lipstick to work you have to have a lip primer and so it's like you end up spending so much more money because things are like one thing just isn't fully functional. It's really not great. I'm not a fan. I want to 
Voila, okay, duplicate, and let's see if I can do this thing where, um, whoops, um, Finally, let me in, then Twitch making it hard. What happened? Why couldn't you be let in? What's going on? Commercials happen, I guess. Um, Alright. Oh, no! It, it's keep. There we go. My poor eyes. Let's see if anything is happening in this chat. Nope. All right. Cool. Um, mm, yeah, I think everything's fine. No! So today's stream was kind of slow. Sorry about that. Wow, I do not like this song. Uh, wow, I'm not even allowed to change the song. Oh, it's an ad, that's why, I think. Yeah, it's an ad. Alright. Um, oh my god, I wanted to jump over from YouTube to the Twitch chat because it's more active and it froze up three times with no ad before letting me in. That's only after using the host link from your page. So once I uh, went to home and clicked Pixelogic directly, it worked. That's odd. Um... Oh my god, thanks guys, that's sweet. Um, makes me feel like I'm not wasting people's time. Let's make the background the same as that. It's like this weird greenish color. Document, back. Oh, darker and more desaturated. Back. There we go. Better. I'm gonna divide that. There we go. Okay. Um. My life. <sighs> yeah, that's how I feel right now, if you're wondering. Uh, not at all. I've learned like three new things. Really? That's crazy. I'm glad. I'm happy to hear that. I wonder what you learned. <laughs> I'm like, are people actually learning something? Because that's crazy. 
cool. <laughs> oh yeah, I did talk a lot about design and stuff, so that makes sense. Um. Oh yeah, obviously. Yeah, 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 no, you totally learn things about completely unrelated. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that looks way better. It's always very satisfying when you hit the point on your art where you're like, oh, I like this. This is nice. It's like a pleasant surprise. Kind of reminds me of Britney Spears. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally made that brush thing happen. Okay, music back on. I don't even know if you can hear the music because uh, whenever I watch rewatch like my streams I'm like hmm, there's like no music in this oops <laughs> so I'm just like dancing to nothing um what's going on watch gnome alone on Netflix what a horrible movie uh yeah, don't eat carbs for breakfast. At least I can't. There are people who obviously benefit from that. Um, but I'm not one of those people. Hmm. Trying to figure out the best shape for the hair. Kind of like the thing before. Okay, let's do some ideation stuff. So we have this hair shape. And then we also are going to have um, something that's a little more like that. Alright. But I'm not like in love with this to be honest, I feel like. Um, what are people yelling about outside? Um, let's see. So, like, the thing is, you always kind of want to. What is going on? I don't know if you can hear that, but somebody's crying. And the other person's not happy about it. <sighs> All right. Um. <laughs> hearing children cry it's not not formidable let's do some of that boom uh oops <laughs> god i'm oof oof, oof a big big time bad i'm gonna go ahead and use the hairbrush on this because it's gonna make it look so much better instead of like trying to sculpt all of this i'm still gonna end up sculpting but it's gonna make it look so much better yeah that looks nicer all right a uh, plot twist, she doesn't have neighbors. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> 
that's uh, dark. Oh no, my poor hair. Um, Jesus, let's not. It's too spooky to talk about ghosts during Halloween, okay? Also, I want to talk about hair a little bit. So, in my opinion, hair and cloth are very similar in terms of, from a design standpoint, they follow the same rules of, like, flow and rhythm. Um, they just kind of function, like, they behave differently. But it's with uh, shape language, it, it's the same, right? So it all has to do with, like, how are, how are uh, lines flowing in and out of each other. What is this music? I don't like it. It's too chill. Ugh, no. no. There we go. And let's put that over there. Yeah, and so with like curves, it always has to do with like, well, how are things curving out? It's like, and you always want like a uh, fast curve, so it's like changes and rhythm and flow. It's like you don't want a slow. A slow curve is like this, right? A fast curve would be. Let me show you. It's like you want contrast and shapes. So something like... And it always has to do with like momentum and gravity too. So that doesn't... No, that's not... <laughs> Oops. It's not working for this design. Like making it way too crazy. But... Something a little more like that, right? So this has like a stronger turn. That makes sense. Same thing in here. So it's like a... so you always want like a defined direction of the curve too. That. Yeah, and then maybe this is like too much. There we go. I prefer that. Um, what's going on? Just saw the haunting of the Hill House this week. Oh, I have not seen that yet. Um, how come you're not wearing something on your head today? I know. I was, um, so initially I was going to wear this, but it would end up making my head hurt. Um, also, I'm going to make a headdress out of these, like, cherubs that I bought. It's gonna be really cool. And I have, um, like, a flower crown that's gold. So, actually, let me pull it. Very important ZBrush-related stuff. My headdress endeavors. Give me a second. All right, I'm back. <laughs> um, all right, here I am. So I ha I spray painted this, which I kind of regret, but whatever. 
And so I want to, I don't know if I should do it like separately or not. Maybe I can make something like together. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, how does that look? It's like chair up here. It might be too busy, I think. I think if I do this, but if I do it on a more simple thing, it'll look better. But yeah, so let me, I can put this back on. Ah, gravity. There you go, something on my head. Oh, absolutely, without a crown, who are you going to get anywhere? It's probably why I've been so slow today. I haven't been wearing anything on, on, on my head. <laughs> um... There are normally hats. Usually I have, um, so I have this hat that I'm glad I got back, um, right? So this is great. I love this. This is like, oh, I need to wash my hair today, but I also need to go out in public so people don't have to look at that. And then I also have, I need to find things to actually match this hat with more um and i have this in pink also um uh, i also have all right whenever i wear this people go like um like oh what are you like a tourist on me so it's a visor but then i can do this right yeah, it's so what, what up, or, um, yeah, I don't think I have anything with me right now else, it's so like within the reach of my hands, um, <laughs> you're all welcome for this beautiful performance, um, <laughs> All right, um, okay, so you have a raspberry. Okay, so I don't have a raspberry. Um, I don't even know what a raspberry beret is. You mean like strawberry? I don't have one, but I totally want one. Also, my forehead is like weirdly shiny today. I'm noticing that because the light is really showing it. But I also have this pink one, which... So I try to, um stiffen this up and uh with like starch and now i regret doing that because the fucking the starch keeps falling all over everywhere <sighs> yeah all right back to work i'm so sorry about this like tangent um but you know that's me um and the kind you find in a secondhand store, you can find anything in a secondhand store. Most of what I have is from secondhand stores. Wait, what's a good thing? I'm so confused about what's going on. Wait, what color was the hat I was wearing? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Alright. Um, cool. I think. Oh. Kinda gross, but okay, let's darken it up just a little bit over here. Mm. Let's see. Ugh, and now I have starch all over my tablet. It's really not comfortable. 
um, what am I looking for? Um, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I figured that much. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, it makes makes more sense. Oh, here's the thing. Okay, so I've like never gotten into prints. Obviously, I know songs, but I'm like I just don't actively think about prints at all. So that flew over my head. Okay, let's fix that. Yes, I I figured. Dude, I'm so bad at like pop culture references for me. It's just like even if I've watched the movie, I'm not going to get the reference until somebody like points out exactly what's happening. I'm way better at inside jokes. <laughs> Cuz I'm like, oh, I know, like I have a very specific emotional response to like personal experiences not so much to media okay cool let's work a little bit on uh, the sleeves over here Um, there we go. Let's divide that one time. Whenever I sculpt cloth, I like to use the H. I mean, I, I use the H polish for like everything, right? But I particularly like sculpt uh, using it to sculpt cloth, especially if the cloth is like um, a little stiffer. It really helps make it look right, you know. Helps planarize it in a way that's. Uh, natural looking see that looks all right um don't no i don't plan on sculpting prints just prints is not somebody who i think about in my life. Alright. Amazing. Oh, I don't like that though. Dude, H polish is life. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to wrap up the stream soon. Like five minutes. Then figure out okay, what should I eat for lunch? I don't know what to make. 
I need to buy potatoes. I know I said I don't eat carbs. I try not to eat carbs, but I don't. Oh no, but I ha I totally have tomatoes. Okay, so life hack is what I call like tomato pizzas. So you slice up a tomato and you put some um, oil, oregano, salt, whatever, and then you put mozzarella on top of that and you just bake that at like 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It's the best thing ever. It tastes just like pizza minus the dough. It's so great. It was like when I found out that I could do that, my dietary skills, I don't know. It just made my life much easier. It's like very simple and fast to make. Okay, I hate this fold. I don't know why it looks like that. Soup? Oh, you know what? No, I totally should make soup. Also, what? Um, I have... I have soup making um, ingredients, so I should totally do it. Also, don't have any meat at home. Sucks. I think I don't have. No, I totally have chicken. I just remembered that. Good for me. Good for past me thinking about future me. Me caring about myself. Um, the combination of food and hats and ZBrush is perfect. Thank you. I appreciate that. These are things I all care very deeply about. <laughs> I wish I had more interesting food fact related um, things to talk about that are like fun facts, not like everything is bad for you and we're all gonna die type facts. Nobody likes those. Um, yeah, oh no. Two more minutes and I will be leaving. Oops. Oh, this is just getting worse the more I sculpt on it. Mm, I'm not a fan. Page polish time. feel about that. Hidden and then take this and divide it. Oh no, don't divide it like that. Alright, I'm gonna give this some thickness. Don't cumash olive root. All right, guys, when am I doing the sleeve cuffs? Oh, so I'm going to do that separately. Anyway, so this is where I'm at with this project right now, and I'm going to say goodbye. So thanks to everybody who showed up to my stream and enjoyed my amazing stories about food and things. So, yeah. Goodbye.